Hello everyone, this is Akash Nimani and in this tutorial we'll see how we can create a display ad in Google. So first we go to adwords.google.com and then we sign in with our Gmail account or a Google account. So once you sign in, you would be taken to the dashboard of your account where you can see all the current campaigns which you're running. So let's now create a new campaign and in this case it's going to be a display network campaign. So we want to create image ads which show up as you see on different blogs and different websites. So let's name the campaign. So in this case, I'm going to name the campaign as drop my email unlimited storage. So that's my campaign name. So let's get, we should give it a meaningful name so that people can understand or you yourself can understand what the campaign is all about. So in this case, it's drop my email unlimited storage. Now we will be going, we are going to be using all the features of this ad as we saw in the search there there were multiple options for us to choose from now as far as the settings are concerned we since we created a search ad earlier we can actually tap on it to just load the default settings from there so let me use the settings which we use for help learn workshop so now as you see some of the settings which i had used earlier have already been loaded in this ad so this kind of fastens it makes the process of creating ads more faster so you do not waste time going through each step and doing it again so as as you saw earlier i had chosen desktops and mobiles as the devices on which my ad should be shown now the countries were chosen to be malaysia singapore indonesia you can still continue to remove a city or a country if you want and you can keep changing them same as with the language if you want we can change the language i can even remove Indonesian if I want I want to just show it in English because my ad is in English so moving on the next is a bit budget and bid bidding so in this case again you would want to set your own bid this is because you don't want the budget to go out of hand you want a control over your budget so now your budget is what you want let's say I want it at $20 this time I don't want to spend $25 to set that now as you saw earlier there were a lot of ad extensions in the search ad but in the case of a display ad you have mainly two of them one is a location so you can actually add location information to your ad you can either use your google places account or just manually enter it or you can also have a number which is for your store or maybe your your restaurant or some a brick and mortar company and you want to provide your number so in that case you can also add your phone number to this now as for the advanced settings so I want the ads to start immediately I don't want to wait for a longer time so I just set the date as today it's already preloaded and then you can again go and change the ad scheduling so if you see in this case it's showing at 49% because in the previous ad search ad we had set the settings to be so so you one can again go and edit this one thing important to note here is the social settings so if you have a Google Plus account you can actually include the link so what it does is when someone browses over your ad, you see a plus one button shown there. So this kind of also helps you to get more plus ones on your Google Plus page. So in this case, we just save and continue. We move on to the next step. So now when we are in the next step, so here we need to create our ad group as we did in the case of the search ad. So in this case, I'm going to just say unlimited storage and then set a default bid. Now, this is an image ad. So you will have to again use the keyword tool and make use of other tools to find out the kind of bid values which people are generally putting in for your category so in this case let me just say 50 cents per bid now how would you want to target your audience this is important so first the three options first is display keywords so in this case you can actually enter keywords which appear on the page so google would then pick up your add and show it based on the keywords of that page we can choose keywords like email email backup mail backup unlimited email etc so there are a lot of others you can also make use of the find relevant keywords tool to find more keywords on the same line so let's say email backup software i want to add this one i want to add windows mail backup and also i want to add all the keywords which i added
So you can use keywords to actually target ads so where your ads should be placed. Another thing is interest and remarketing. So interest is you can choose the ads to be shown on sites which match the interest which you're choosing. So let's say computer and under computer and electronics, I want to show to people who are looking for computer security or I want to go look for people who are maybe looking at software and they are looking for freeware and shareware. Since we provide a 14 day free, 14 day free trial, maybe this will work out well or maybe internet software. So you can also choose interests of people based on which you want to show the ads. As far as remarketing is concerned, that's a totally different concept, which we will be looking at a later tutorial maybe. Or we can use different methods. Other methods include a topic or placements or an age group for which you want to show an ad or the gender. So in this case, let's stick to keywords and go ahead. Now, when you choose keywords, you can again further narrow your ads, your targeting. You can again narrow it down based on the audience interest, which we've already chosen in the previous case. So now it's, it's going to be a combination of these two sets, which is keywords plus the interest of the people. You can add further conditions to it that I want to show it only to people of a certain age. I want to show it to people between the age of 18 and 44. So you can put that kind of a restriction as well. So you can also add more restrictions if you want to in this case. So let's just save and continue with this. Now here they're asking us to place our ad. What kind of an ad do you want? Now an image ad can actually include a text ad as well. So if you would notice at times that you, you see a text ad, something of this form with a box around it. So that's also kind of an image ad. But here we want an absolute image, which we have created on our own. So now if you see on the side, Google supports the following sizes of images to be, which are used in their ads. So make sure that you, all your images are in lines with the sizes as shown and a maximum of 50K in size. So I've already created an ad. So let me just select the 200 by 200 sized ad. So this is the one I'm going to name my image. So it's unlimited storage in blue. Now the URL of the ad, so this should go to dropmyemail.com, that's that's where the product is, so, and then the destination URL. Now the destination URL in this case can be different, you can actually add uh, query terms to your URL, so if you want to get more data out of it, you can add some query terms which are useful for Google Analytics in this case, for your own tracking methods, right? So, so I've created the ad and then I just click on done. You can actually add multiple ads to this particular ad group. So in our case, let's just use one and then we say save ad. So as you see, this is the ad which we've created and the bid is 50 cents. And now the ad is under review. The reason it's under review is Google might want to look into the ad to make sure the content is in lines with all their privacy and terms and conditions before it's approved. So once your ad is approved, it will start running and you would start seeing clicks and impressions coming here. So that's about it. That's how you create a display ad in Google.